Three years have passed since Netflix pulled the plug on the Longmire series. Despite this, the series became one of the most watched in 2020, despite originally airing on A&E and then transferring to Netflix for the final three seasons. After watching all six seasons of Longmire, you may be curious about the cast members' lives outside of the show. Let's catch up with the Longmire cast and find out where they are now. We start off with Robert Taylor, aka Sheriff Walt Longmire. As Sheriff Walt Longmire, Robert Taylor is fantastic. Taylor is a perfect embodiment of the small-town cowboy cop. His acting is commanding and sophisticated. You could imagine he was inspired by Western greats like John Wayne and Clint Eastwood. Surprisingly, he is not American. It turns out that Taylor is originally from Australia. He should get a prize for tricking everyone. Taylor's been keeping himself busy in Melbourne, Australia since he became a sensation on Longmire. Pictures of him drinking beer with pals, cheering for the Dodgers, and exploring the world can be seen all over his Instagram feed. He went so far as visiting Wyoming. If you miss the sheriff, you may see Taylor as Dr. Heller in The Meg, Jeff Walters in The Newsreader, or Reverend Covern in Dolly Parton's Heartstrings, Down from Dover episode. Then we move to Katie Sackhoff as Vic Moretti. Vic Moretti, originally from Philadelphia, relocates to Absaroka County and takes a position as Longmire's deputy sheriff. It's a constant will-they-won't-they they between Vic and Walt over the show's whole run. Even though they've decided to live together, neither of them can truly commit because of their history of relationships. Katie Sackhoff brings an equal amount of sheer awesomeness to the role of this investigator. Like the other character Sackhoff portrays, Moretti is tough, multifaceted, and intellectual. Sackhoff has worked non-stop since Longmire, mainly in major franchises. In the Arrowverse, she played Leslie Jacoy, also known as Amunet Black on The Flash. She appeared as a mercenary in the film Riddick, a tormented young lady in the film Oculus, and in a recent short film based on the Power Rangers that was met with some controversy because it had little to do with the actual series. Netflix is your one-stop shop for more of Sackhoff's genius. On the science fiction drama Another Life, she played the lead role of Nico Breckenridge. Who will ever forget Lou Diamond Phillips as Henry Standing Bear. The incredible Lou Diamond Phillips brings Henry Standing Bear to life in this series. He lives on the Cheyenne Reservation, owns the Red Pony, and has been a close friend of Longmire's for a very long time. Henry's relationship with Longmire and Phillips' compelling performance made him one of the show's most memorable characters. Lou Diamond Phillips is hardly a newcomer. In 1987, he portrayed Richie Valens in the film La Bamba, and his performance was acclaimed as outstanding. His career flourished with award nominations for The King and I and Stand and Deliver. Phillips' success has soared since the conclusion of the Longmire television series. He is a regular competitor in the most important poker events and is considered a player of world-class caliber. His stoic character as Henry Standing Bear seems useful in other contexts outside only Longmire. Although he hasn't had much success in the World Series of Poker yet, you never know how the chips may fall. While we all wait for his ultimate triumph, he can now be seen in the role of Gil Arroyo on the Fox series Prodigal Son. Now, Cassidy Freeman, the one and only Katie Longmire. If the name Cassidy Freeman rings a bell, it's probably because you recognize her from her role as Tess Mercer on the popular television program Smallville. She took up the role of Katie Longmire immediately after the conclusion of her run on the Superman drama. Katie Longmire, also known as Punk, is a lawyer, the daughter of Sheriff Longmire, and the girlfriend of Branch. The arrest of Henry launches her into a new phase of her professional life as a public defender, representing those who live on the reserve. At the conclusion of the series, she chooses to follow in her father's footsteps and become a sheriff. One of Freeman's major strengths is her versatility. She's also involved in the community and politics, having volunteered to help John Ossoff's campaign in 2020. She's been keeping herself busy in front of the camera with parts like Emma Kate in The Forever Purge. Watch her in one of the finest programs of 2019 on HBO, The Righteous Gemstones, if horror thrillers aren't your thing. Freeman excels in every position she takes on, and it is extremely probable that this trend will continue in the future. Remember Bailey Chase as Branch Connolly? Of course. Branch is the man who wants to replace Longmire as sheriff, but has so far been unsuccessful. This wealthy and ambitious detective is the deputy sheriff, and Katie Longmire Longmire's on-again, off-again lover. Sadly, his time on the program is cut short when his father murders him after he is fired from the police. Chase, like his Longmire character, attended Duke on a football scholarship. Thankfully, he pursued a career in acting and has been going strong for years. Since his time on the show as the disgraced deputy, he has starred in 24 Legacy, Twin Peaks, and SWAT. So far, he has enjoyed a long and fruitful career without showing any indications of slowing down. For die-hard Longmire fans, nothing beats keeping up with Chase's regular Instagram posts, images of his cute family, pets, vacations, and interests fill the book. Oh, Officer Matthias. Actor Zahn McLarnon portrays Officer Matthias. As a member of the tribal police force on the Cheyenne Reservation, his ambivalence often causes him to be an obstacle for Longmire. The viewers are never quite sure if Officer Matthias has good intentions or not because he is so mysterious. McLarnon's performance is extremely subtle and dynamic because of the inherent ambiguity. McLarnon, who is of Lakota origin, is one of the few Native American actors now active in the industry. McLarnon has played a variety of facets 
fascinating characters during his career. In addition to his role as Akacheta on Westworld and William Lopez on Marvel's Hawkeye, he portrayed Hansi Dent on Fargo Season 2 opposite Kirsten Dunst. His other acting credits include Reservation Dogs, where he plays big. Also, Martinez does a fantastic job as business opportunist Jacob Nighthorse, who might just be Longmire's most hated character. In the first episodes, he is portrayed as a selfish jerk who exploits the residents of the Cheyenne tribe, but there's more to Nighthorse than meets the eye, just like there is with all the complex characters on this show. He begs Katie in Season 4 to assist him in keeping his company afloat. Longmire's standout performance comes from Martinez, who manages to be both beyond despicable and incredibly entertaining. Though he started out as a film actor, the former semi-pro baseball player is most recognized for his work on soap operas. After his time on Longmire ended, he returned to his soap opera roots by playing Eduardo Eddie Hernandez on NBC's Days of Our Lives. All of the daytime Emmys should go to him if his work on Longmire is any indication of what he contributes to Days of Our Lives. Then, it's Adam Bartley as the Deputy Archie the Ferg Ferguson. Deputy Archie the Ferg Ferguson, Adam Bartley, is absolutely charming. The Ferg may appear like a clumsy addition to the squad, but he's really rather valuable. Their friendship is full of affection and respect for one another. One of the most emotionally wrenching lines in the series comes when Ferguson tries to resign. I know I was a favor. I only got hired because you were helping out my dad. Longmire rejects Ferguson's resignation because he still sees promise in him, demonstrating their deep friendship. The show just wouldn't be the same without the Ferg, so thank goodness for that. Adam's acting resume is still growing, but it already includes roles in such notable series as Lucifer, This Is Us, and Bones. Also, he was in the terrifying horror film Annabelle Creation, which detailed the doll's creation and subsequent possession by an evil spirit that caused so much trouble for the movie's protagonists. Meanwhile, photographs of his cute pets and happy reunions with his fellow Longmire actors fill his Instagram feed with happiness. Now, let's answer some of the questions that fans are dying to know. Fans are still asking whether there will be a season 7 of Longmire. The show started on A&E in 2012 and ran there for three seasons before Netflix brought it back for seasons 4, 5, and the final season, which came out in 2017. The announcement that season 6 of Longmire will be the final season came at the same time that Netflix renewed the program for a sixth season. Sorry to disappoint everyone, but Longmire will not be returning for the seventh season. However, this does not rule out the possibility of further episodes or a spin-off in the future. All we can do is hope. So, when a beloved television program is abruptly cancelled, it hurts. The only thing worse than having your favorite program cancelled once is having it cancelled twice. That's what the Longmire fans experienced. It's hard to say why Netflix cancelled Longmire after six seasons. Maybe they thought the show had run its course, or maybe the actors' contracts were up. Though the reason for Netflix's cancellation of Longmire remains a mystery, the fact that the show was extended by three more seasons makes it difficult to be too disappointed. So, which character was your favorite in Longmire, and which ones do you miss the most? Tell us in the comment section. See you all in the next video.